Hey, what is up, guys? It is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video, and I'm so sorry that I have not been able to post lately. I actually did go on vacation with my family, so I was not able to tell you guys or whatever. But if you do want to go follow my Twitter and stuff, then that you know you you'll be able to know whenever I'm going on these vacations, and also go ahead and you can check out my Instagram too. They have the same exact at handles. And now today I want to get into a new game that is coming out, and I talked about this in the past in one of my game news videos. This game is called wild west online and now i know what you guys are thinking you know with all this uh oh by the way the running animations really do need some work like if you saw just a second ago the running animations that's how you know this game is in alpha pre-alpha so basically this game is going to be i'm pretty sure it's going to be similar to identity but more of like in a wild wild west uh timeline and you'll be able to go into different taverns and bars not a tavern it's not skyrim but like uh, uh what do they call it in the west i don't know just you'll be able to go into bars and stuff and play games with your friends and or npcs also you'll be able to go in there and get some quests and that does show that you will have some pve side even though it's an online game this will be like an rpg game i guess so you will be able to, I guess, play with your friends and, you know, you can, I'm assuming you'll be able to make posses and gangs and such. And you can also, you know, go out and buy land if you don't want to do that. You can go out and buy land and farm and customize your house and live off the land and be legal. Just like you can do in Identity. And you see here that he is riding a horse, so that will be in the game. Of course, what Wild West game would not have a horse and he'll be going into his safe house right here. So... This game looks really, like, it looks pretty cool. The, besides the character animations, I think the graphics are, they're pretty gorgeous, actually. And in the game, you'll also be able to, like, go out and collect bounties on, I'm assuming, on players and on NPCs, because uh, you can actually, you can actually go to the uh, sheriff's office. And by the way, you can actually be a sheriff. But anyway, you can go to the sheriff's office and you can... You know, collect a bounty of paper right off of the wall, and then you can go track down the bounty and kill the guy and, you know, get the bounty. You can do this with your friends or just, you know, by yourself. But here is some, you know, gameplay of them actually tracking down the bounty and trying to kill the bounty guy or whatever. I'm just going to play this off while I talk. But this game does look very promising. I'm actually going to go over here and look at some of the stuff that it says. It says that you can, you know, play uh, whether or not when you want to be a criminal. Like, you can do your own thing. Like, you can be your own person. And, uh, yeah, it's it's it looks like an indie game. And I think that I would like to support it. So, if the devs, do, if you guys do see this video, maybe you guys can give me, hit me up with that alpha. You know, I'm going to sign up for it. And you guys can actually go sign up for the alpha and stuff so that you can play the game early. And uh, yeah, the graphics look good and the game looks fun to while, you know while we're waiting on Red Dead. And uh, maybe this game will be better than Red Dead's online. Who knows? Maybe we'll be switching back and forth. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope you do leave a like, drop a comment, maybe subscribe. And I'll try to be posting some more. But if I don't, don't be sad. Love all you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.